Hey guys, welcome to another Valhalla episode. Day 2, uh, 14th of December. And Jill was lost and thought about getting a hollow plant. Before that's come out, Cubby. Let's go check out our phone, shall we? Oh, we got a new app, haven't we? D and AA. Let's see what's on the news today. Local woman, local hero. By Lana Smithy. Morning was a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. Occurred at the Artemis Will Mall. And people noticed someone at the rooftop of a building. Firefighters were called as soon as the presence was notified, noticed by pedestrians. But a person jumped off without notice. Just in one week, the suicide victim jumped off. A local woman was able to catch them midair and never seen before anyone could identify her. Hmm. What if that's got any connection to our um, woman? 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. Not really surprised. A lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. A survey conducted here at really Augmented Eye last month asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. A total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much I bath a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone. I have to go puke. Yeah, I hope it's not put on until sale. And something about Alice Rabbit. Who'd have thought it? I think Alice Rabbit might be a dog. Don't trust this dog. Dog, you say? Why not? And lots of ones and zeros. No idea about those. And what's this D? Dangerous opinions. Mickey concert. Do you know what kind of childhood romances succeed in real life? You're just lonely. In the last thread, a non wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch signals. I mean, you say that, but she seems incredibly sharp sometimes. I was right. It's going to be difficult now. You have to be direct and to a point. Okay. Interesting forums. Not going to read for all of this. If you do want to read it, just pause the video and you can read it. Of course. I'm I'm, I'm looking through it briefly. So basically, this is 4chan. So we room for two apps down here. Uh, let's go shopping, shall we? So we're at JC Elton's. And um, we're street with all this stuff. What can I buy? I got to $2,400. Cute clay houses. And Maneki Neko. Uh, Kira Mickey poster. Kira? A cutesy game poster. Sorted cartridges. A cracked Dharma. An Alex figure. A Night of ID Statues uh, poster. A mega Christmas tree. Celebrate the bastardized commercial conversion of an already bastardized celebration. Uh, replica toy touring. PC9X. Vintage gaming. Joker Cyclone. Holly Plant. And a paper lantern. That's got beer on discount. Meet with staff. A QR Mickey banner. A shoulder massager. And Mulan tea. I want to buy a hollow plant. Um, shall I buy something else? Is there anything worth buying? Oh. 
anything I can afford. Movie poster. I will have a Mickey poster as well. Let's return to my home. I think that's a Mickey poster, isn't it? That's definitely potted plants. Don't think I can get anything in my room. But let's go to work, shall we? Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Wah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under account. Wait. Do you regularly put things on us asking where they belong to first? I don't plan to evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until a client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable. And cool. And comfortable and cool. And really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, girl. Yeah, our traffic was... Gah! Don't run. You have to work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Chief. Sorry, thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate my Pluto warhead somewhere safe. But what, where now? Ah, oh, nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Oh, time for jukebox. Um, let's change up, shall we? Let's get rid of these tracks. And go with all these. There we are. It's time to make strings and check. You! Oh, Miss Kim. Because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work, and on a day where I got a nifty assignment, too. Wait, because of me? You were the one who got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely, that's nice. That's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But. True, morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol he could handle, did I? I... Uh, seriously, what kind of answer is that? Oh. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Do I know you? Hey, brat. You in luck. I decided to bless this place again. And look, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Um, he likes beers, it seems. Large beers. Uh, two deltas, four of these, and eight of these. All mixed. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand me interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first ice cold of a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing with your hellhole with my presence. You here yesterday too. How did that come about? Mrs. Gower gets performing a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning in the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. I think it's slowly turning into Zap Brannigan. I do apologise about that. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that a gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the Department of Lilim Sex Appeal. I tell you. She was a Lilim then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm, hey, you. Guy with a John face. 
Huh? Me? What has a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was a Hong Kong riot ten years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong. I certainly didn't affect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You remember those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist happy to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking through some investors when I when those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, did I really think the laws would try to pass a backfire? For openly trying to segregate people with their augmentations. No matter how they have different capabilities, if you put in between, it's still segregation. And once the people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is a PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarising the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labour. Our plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Try to get the full picture might take you back beyond the industrial revolution. All that happened when I get out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. Yeah, scholarship. Had no mean feet, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things that I rather not remember much of. It's not Channel 7 at the moment. No signal. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese. The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have some chance. Why do I feel like you suddenly cha challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait. When you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canto what? When people say Chinese, that's usually referring to a written word, not a spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects of a Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the only spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship could serve a Mars Blast too, right? Sure, on it. Oh, Mars Blast. I'll give him a lot. I'll give him a big one. Delta. Two of these. And I'm going to just blend it. Here. Oh, right. I guess I believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone you could use against me in a court of law? It's complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon. I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How I wanted unreasonable stuff, like I feel I have more power than you do, and all that? Oh, yeah, I mean, of course, something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. Bad on racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in? What? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than you and your investigators. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is a first and only word in everything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people would buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal? 
God forbid if we ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that when talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer moms crying about their hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by a damn namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when someone else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes me blood boil. Nowadays, no one can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I want a goddamn newspaper. The whole point of it is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Is that the same thing? I was getting offended by the sun or a telegraph. Or well, definitely the Daily Mail is more fun, but... Being offended by a mirror is also offensive. Sure, let's go that. I mean, it's not like it's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from is kinda... Damn, look what time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick has finished her concert is the problem already. Something to like the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it. But for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Something bitter to, um, wake him up. Definitely not that. Gut punch, maybe. Power driver. Maybe a suplex, I think. Yeah, I'll go with a suplex. I'll go with on the rocks. One, two, three, four of those. Three of these. And three of these. I'll double it up for him. It's mixed. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know I feel like I should compensate my poor bastard who took the heat today. Huh? Yeah, that kid, Joel, Jean, Glamo, Hirohito, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know, I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I would wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mum. What if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see that just means he'd be off work. and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I seem to have bad talk to no end about her, so I know I'd let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him a food critics column. It's shit anyway. Heh, I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Oh, thank you. Please come again. Having something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill. I think we have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep. I can't take your helmet off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What? Did you run out of air? 
It's real, I should save Valkyrie in Valhalla. Ha 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 Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this, Almas. What are you going to do? I know something m might help me. I'll go give her a call. Let's see, where was the number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I got need some clogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief Gordon a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? Oh, she will. Even if there's no gut or butter, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Hmm. Okay, hello. Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really, man? Do they sell the wrong stuff? Sounds suspicious. Who sold you what? Jill, going out a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you. Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. I care to explain. Have you seen those pixel videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, once we have a clothes room, the only thing you see in the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. We can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. Where's second fetish? What are you? Then, Thunderpoke. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible to some jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Ah oh well, I will got something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched into civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any colour to texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colours of clothes from walls or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What's that have to do with what you want though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to a human eye. It was quite pricey last time I checked though. Almost. To a human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie that coloured blob. And we let him see things differently. It's an effective against us. So it might be what I need. Now, oh, what about talking to yourself again? Okay, my ghost is saying hello something to me. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. So she wants a piano woman, does she? I wish you called pretty woman, but too many people complain. Which should be a piano, piano woman. And five of these. Five of these. Two delta. Three of these. And three of these. All aged and mixed. One piano woman. Thanks, I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Oh, today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, a ticket for Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled with a broom of dogs. We'll enjoy a drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again. They were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know. Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll, s you'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. Or you have a cat that thinks or, or does all that. Do you pay him to finish that census and I'll make sure you truly become invisible? Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. I like this Dorothy. It's just fun. A bit weird, though, but who isn't? Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. 
And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Is that a girl? I wish. What do you do? What do you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey. What do you do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His best is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff it's hard to make connections about what happened to him. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's really about it's not really that necessary and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Don't tell anyone lies. No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? Oh, she found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. Maybe it's this girl who wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <coughs> a bit early for her stories, don't you think? I'm intrigued what she wanted to use as a glass bottle. Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see her yesterday. Oh, I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Ah, did you miss me that much? Yes, it was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it's a weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. I think I met him. Really? Yeah, I was going... I go to his house at 11am. Dress if requested. I spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him. Go to bed when ordered. And leave. Knowing sexual, you just expect him to push against the ground when have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely it would happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. It seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, seems to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. A moon blast. So I need six aldehyde. One powder delta, one flannel guide, and two rows. Tell you what, I'll make it big for her. Blend it. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking him. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in poor alcohol. So no wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single. I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what any what anyone is? No, nope, not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like little kids? Yeah, I know. Out of a factory, you look like kids because development needs to be as close to human as possible. Any lot about babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Feel slightly disturbed by what I said earlier, actually, now then. Upgrade? Once DFC 72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt to a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to swing older. So some go for it, some don't. Will you go for it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know. How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage to everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Oh, should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through it if I ever decide to retire or something. Not right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, girl. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Come with Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear a cling sound of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Can we finish here? Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. 
Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I get a hefty bonus the other day, so today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on. Don't be stingy. That's something more expensive. I'd rather not. Well, that girl puts on an edge with the way she addresses people. Okay, then, let me get your orders. Big sunshine cloud and a gut punch. Okay. So, sunshine cloud. So four of those, four of these, and I feel like she's going to want I'll do that. Four of those, four of those, and optional that. On the rocks and blended. That's a sun cloud. And the other one I want to do is a gut punch. Five extract. And one flannel guide. I think she'd like it if I got him a bit drunk. Aged, yep, yeah. and mixed. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. I don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something? Private. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card of updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for a room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that a DFC 72 line leaves tracking nano machines in the other person after, well, after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <coughs> yeah. That's a semi myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but we're released when our body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or other like, other like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of a buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who get marry, get nervous on a wedding night and BAM! Their partners end up spending their honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I just modified myself so much at the tracking nano machines were still being released. I should commend that tenacity for it, to be honest. It's also a urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance. And that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough for my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know it's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and doing more, young lady. Fine. See if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with a meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's doing else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, I and mean, it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm going to take my... Gil, I need your girly hands for a second here. Come in. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problems. I apologise if I'm taking time from your break. Ah, don't worry. So I have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Jill when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars blast? But I can. A Mars blast. Mars. Six extract. One delta. Four of these. And two of these. All blended. Here's 
Yeah. Bit of a minor I mean, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war. We fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war? Not any official ones, at least. That's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or alike? Well, first of all, I'll try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about the other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She can take care of those things if I wanted Haywire. Hey, why? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if you just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got a mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighter as cyborg wrestler with a gun rogue. Just a rumour, though. Damn. I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumours herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe we'll see her in action someday. You should. It's quite a show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you, should take, you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Fast break. All right. And there's the um half day image. I'm gonna quickly save my game. There we are. And I'm gonna save the episode as well. Well, thank you very much for watching. My name is Fuds. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.